Iranian atheist prisoner's mother sent to jail for defending her son's rights. On August 2nd, Ferengis uh, Mazloum, the mother of the Iranian atheist political prisoner Sohail Arabi, was brought to the Judgment Enforcement Unit of the Avin Prison in Iran. She will serve an 18-month custodial sentence for speaking out against her son's arrest and the torture he experienced in prison. Her son was first arrested on, in November 2013 for allegedly insulting the Prophet Muhammad on his Facebook post. He was eventually released on November 16th, 2021, yet he has been sentenced to an additional two years of internal exile. Maslum herself was first arrested on July 22nd, 2019 by Iran's intelligence ministry agency agents after speaking out against her son's imprisonment and giving interviews to foreign media. She later, she was also charged with quote, assembly and collusion with intention of committing crime through the people's Mujahideen organization, also known as MEK, an Iranian anti-regime terrorist or group and quote, disseminating propaganda against the state in favor of dissident groups. The continued years long treatment of Farangis Maslum, despite her frail health condition, including a recent stroke this past July, has been condemned as a blatant attempt to silence her outspoken son, Sohail Arabi, and her own burgeoning activism. While speaking to Iran Wire, Arabi talked about how his mother became a civil rights champion after he was arrested. Quote, she went from being a mother to a fighter, Arabi said. Yeah, and Arabi was recently released, right? So hell, yeah. So, but her mother is now in jail and he's out? Yes, yeah. yeah. So her mother is in jail for trying to get his him mother. out. Yeah, his mother is in jail for for trying to get him out, and he's out, and she's now in jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, really Dornab had, Yeah. Dornab is saying, even though this woman is a believer, if this is the one, yeah, this, this lady earned her Mother of the Year card uh, for years to come. Yeah, we actually did an interview with her about Sohel Arabi, and we translated it uh, into english with subtitles it's in the bottom of the article oh wow it is oh yeah you, good oh my god yeah i remember this like guys look at this interview like dude, this was when sohel was still in jail mm -hmm. and she was she's like so brave because she was interviewing atheist republic like she's like we asked her like are you not afraid of interviewing with the atheist republic about your son and she was like I'm not scared of anything. Like I, they take my son. Like what I what I have to lose. Like I will do anything to get my son back. Like and this was a time that she wasn't getting as much attention. Like this was her case. Like was not getting like was not getting any attention. And I think like we, I think we did a good job in bringing it a, um, a lot more attention to it. Like we went to uh, we reached out to a lot of bigger YouTubers and they brought a lot of attention to it we we went and protested in front of iranian iran's embassy embassy in many different countries right we interviewed her mom uh, like like this was like somebody like this is one hour interview and we had a uh and we had somebody subtitled this like it was amazing like every single look, at, look this is like volunteer subtitled this for us for free right because i don't know if you understand one hour of persian interview it was not that easy like let me mute it and just play it. like one hour of it's not that you know let me post a link to it this was like in 20 this was two years ago you mm -hmm. guys should go watch it this is like the like the bravest mother i've ever seen like the fact that she, the risks that she took just to tr try to get her atheist son out of jail and we ask her like she's like She's obviously not an atheist herself, right? But she said that she's proud of her son for being an atheist. <laughs> That's kind of adorable. She's like, she, he was always an independent thinker and he went like, and he's, she's proud of her for like not backing down or like, you know, and you know, being true to his own views and beliefs. Like it was so sweet. Like she respected her son for like, you know, being a critic of Islam and not backing down, even though she's a Muslim. That was like, I don't know, it was very sweet. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, there was an interview with Sohail in Iran Wire 
um, which made me extremely emotional, to be honest, to just the way that he talks about her is so touching. Um, he said, justice has become so feeble that my own mother has been thrown in jail. The verdict against my mother, he told Iran Wire, mainly related to her activities after 2017. She repeatedly spoke to the media about my case, and as time passed, she grew angrier. She was no longer content to be a defender of just her own son. After I was in prison, she came to know of other civil and political activists, and her years-long anger exploded into rage against fanatics, the patriarchy, and injustice. She went from being a mother to a fighter. My mother was furious when, so then they talk about how she's been accused by the regime of talking to the MEK terrorist group, right? Or being affiliated with them. Um, he said, my mother was furious enough that she would give an interview to any platform, he said. Regardless of its political leaning or affiliation, she just wanted the situation of prisoners to improve. She spoke to a few outlets that the Ministry of Intelligence claims are linked to MEK, including the Human Rights Activist News Agency, which is an Iran-led press association, which is rejected any affiliation. Of course, the security establishment of the Islamic Republic likes to say that any and all opposition group is affiliated with either, either the Pahlavis, okay, i.e. the monarchy, or Rajabi, meaning the leader of MEK. Um, and he also said that the women of their family have long excluded his mother as a free thinker. She has no, he said this really, I don't know, this really warmed my heart. She has no political leanings, but is partial to the American writer and activist Emma Goldman, who's like an American anarchist. The Italian revolutionary Enrico Malatesta and the Polish-German revolutionary Rosa Luxemburg. She's also fond of Cheskov and Dostoevsky, <laughs> but she's not dogmatic about anything. My mother is consumed with curiosity, and as, as such, she doesn't imprison herself in any ideological cage. She originally had a heart attack at only the age of 48 when Sohail was first arrested and sentenced to death. And then she recently, unfortunately, had another heart attack later and... She had a stroke just this past July. And even though the, um, the, like all of her doctors, basically everything, everyone is saying that the, she shouldn't, she can't do this. She can't do this. Like you shouldn't be making her do this because of how frail her condition is. They're still forcing her to go to prison. Even when the prisons are notoriously overcrowded right now and, there's still such a bad situation in Iran regarding the pandemic. Um, so I'm actually quite concerned for her health condition. I have a photo of her and like you sent me this photo. What is this? What are we looking at? This is a post that Sohail made because I follow him on Instagram. This is a post that so Sohail made about um, his mother's heart attack, no, her stroke. Oh, okay. Could you translate the caption? Okay. It's oh, it's kind of long. long. Maybe the first paragraph. Okay. Um, as to camter, agar camber, do shambe pederam sekte magzi kare se shambe madaram har do sabre sekte galbila. Like on Monday, my father had a, a brain um, stro stroke, and my on Tuesday, my mother did. They both have uh, a history of uh, heart stroke. Uh, my, uh, my father was born at this year. Um, and, he sh uh, and he hasn't, he, so he's not even 60 years old. And his mother mm -hmm. is 55. And in 48, oh, her mother had her first heart stroke when the news of her execution, the ruling of Sohail's execution came out, that gave her a heart strike. Okay, so this is the second time she's having a stroke, and this is because the intelligence agency is constantly harassing her. 
So it goes on explaining the details. So she's having heart and brain strikes because of the stress that she's under. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, so there's that. There was and, another one. It was. Um, yes, this one. I don't know. I just wanted to show it because I thought this was so sweet. This photo of him and his mother, like so yeah. many years ago. This is like really old. Yeah. Back in the day. Mm -hmm. And everything was still okay. Yeah. What does the caption okay. say for this one? It's an art. Okay, hold on. Um, it's a Hanusish Tozi Rana Kurande, Bemova de Garhona, but the Hoka has this shunt and Hobbit a little Hoi, but by an Hako Hako Yaklers and Nana Sanada. Like nobody is still explaining us why our loved ones are in jail, um, other than them wanting justice. Like they're like it seemed like. The crimes of all the people that we love who are in jail, it seems like the only thing they did is like ask for justice and they haven't given us any explanations for what else they are in jail. Um, yeah, that's basically, yeah, it goes on then. Yeah, so, so we should like, thank you so much, Susanna, for keeping up with Sohail's situation. Like, um, like we didn't like give up on the story after like so hell was out it's good that we keep an eye on what's happening and keep everyone updated like because of you we constantly we're constantly monitoring this story which is important. i i think this is an explicit attempt to silence him because so hale has become very active on social media since he's been oh, released yeah. and um like i follow him on instagram and facebook and he has a telegram channel and um he obviously has an international audience because of his case. And um, I think it's really important because he's still, like I said, on internal exile. So although he's out of jail, I don't consider him to be free um, because he's still under the regime's control. And obviously mm -hmm. holding on to his mother is a way to always be holding that above his head and also holding above his head. We can always just snatch you back into prison um so it's an obvious attempt uh, of control and silencing um so yeah this is very much still an aspect of his case and mm. i thought it was really important to talk about and especially considering that you know friend friend is in jail for doing things like talking to us yes yeah yeah guys go watch that interview um People are saying that interview, Darko was saying that interview was very powerful. Yeah, guys, go watch it. Um, you'll see like what is like how fearless she is and how brave she is and how like she doesn't, she has no chill, like when it comes to her son. Oh, by the way, just like uh, she, so Hale was saying like she, she, her, her concern for her son has turned into an anger about all the political prisoners. And, and so Hale didn't mention this, but this was also true for him as well. Like when he was in jail, he was on hunger strike for the sake of other prisoners. Like he mm -hmm. was like, he was being tortured and mistreated in prison. And yet he was on hunger strike because of the, he saw the situation of the other prisoners that he was in jail with and he was hunger doing hunger strike for them. So both the mother and the son are some like very selfless people. It's actually yeah. insane to have a heart a, that, that big. big. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.